Times Limited Partnering for Life I am Dr. Pratima Mind my setup is Jeevan Rekha Healthcare Clinic Multi Specialty Clinic it is Commonly asked question about this uh, particular viral disease. It's a viral disease caused by influenza virus, and uh, because the virus has mutated itself into different types, now this is type A variant, which is SPN2, and it is influenza type A, which is called SPN2, which is now predominant in the society in India. No, it's not COVID. It is caused by influenza virus, but it is not COVID. It is actually a different thing, but the few of the signs and symptoms which is similar to COVID, therefore people misunderstand it to be COVID. Ninety-three percent of the patient have fever. Eighty-six uh, percent have cough. Twenty-seven uh, percent have difficulty respiration, and ten uh, percent even the oxygen while coughing. So people think that Corona has come back, but it is not Corona, surely. Corona was a pandemic, and uh, it was a deadly disease which caused a lot of death. But in influenza, we don't get death so frequently, and it is serious. But the seriousness of the disease does not end up with the death. So we cannot say that it is the uh, corona. But the similarity between the two are very much similar. But in corona, you have to have to get hospitalized. This case, if you see it early, you don't have to hospitalize. Some few of the patient, like 27 percent, need only oxygen, and rest other they they subside with the um, antiviral and the small symptomatic treatments. They get subside. Antibiotics are not given, so uh, it's better to uh, get all those small treatments and they subside. Therefore, it is not corona. It is similar to corona, but not corona. And it, uh, the only difference which uh, this has corona has is the severity of the disease. Symptoms which we are seeing nowadays, every day the patient is coming with the symptoms: cough, sneeze, cold, runny, headache, uh, very much fatigue, difficulty in respiration, and along with the throat irritation and severe cough. Sometimes patients are also presenting with vomiting and pain abdomen. Also, loose motion is also associated with the abdomen pain. Uh, so these are few of the symptoms which are uh, regularly coming uh, to the OPD uh, with the influenza patient. Tests are similar to uh, COVID. Same swab and throat swab are taken, and few of the symptomatic uh, for doing the symptomatic treatment, the label of TLC and uh, the general CBC test are done. But they are not so helpful to diagnose the influenza. Rather, the throat and the nose swab is the only way of diagnosing the influenza, particularly this variant. Treatments are available in modern times. Actually, the treatment is symptomatic. The uh, patient comes with whatever type of symptoms. The symptomatic treatment is done. But Ayurved has a vivid and very big array of treatments, starting from prevention to treatment of the disease. Prevention is done in three forms. First uh, is food because the immunity is dull these days because of Corona. Before two days we had Corona, and then the second year also we suffered, and then one year in Spain. few viral came and then now this because this influence has come the immunity of the patient has decreased so now to boost up the immunity is the first thing and you know how it did in corona period we have to boost up the immunity by taking super foods like oats masoor aloe vera and yoga is pranayam is the best and foremost because yoga and pranayam will increase your respiratory boost and that will increase your oxygen intake 
that will reduce the thing. But the gurgling, the the pressure, the nibbling, just which is which make your throat soup like haldi um, uh, boiled in water and can be gurgled so that there will be a layer of uh, haldi in you know, your throat and that will reduce the symptoms of coughing. I think these are the prominent treatments which are taken. And uh, prevention is always better than cure. So I tell the patient to improve your immunity, do pranayam, and make yourself fit so that the uh, virus can't do any harm to you. So be there and be cautious. I want to give you five tips. You have to be very cautious about it. First, prevent direct contact from the patient. Second, wear mask like you were in COVID. Third, you have to hand wash your hands every time. Whenever or wherever you go, you wash your hands. Fourth, do goggles. Whatever number of times you get. Fifth is please take vaccine so that your virus will be killed in your nose and throat. No more going down into your lungs so that you will be prevented and you will be protected. So these five tips, please remember all these five tips and be aware this is a dangerous virus. It is taking you to hospital for oxygen. So I think this won't be very easy for you if you suffer. So prevent it to cure it. Thank you.